First question is from Rosie Faith. Can you explain the difference between a good morning and a Romanian deadlift? I understand the weights are in different positions, but you're basically working the same muscles, right? Are they interchangeable? You know, when, when I was younger, I would look at certain exercises, and I'm talking like, you know, early 20s. I'd already been working out for a while. I'd been a trainer. I'd look at certain exercises that were different but looked so similar that I used to think to myself, they are interchangeable. You know, like incline dumbbell press, incline barbell press. Same movement, same major muscle groups. Why would I waste time doing this other exercise? These aren't these aren't as close as you think. And they they're are. not even as close. As yeah, as I say, these aren't as close as you think they are. I mean, first of all, you're when it's loaded on your back for a good morning, where the the bar path is completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the bar path on a Romanian deadlift is similar to any other deadlift, where it's close to your shins and close to your body. Where this is ex extended on a lever, so you're that's di that's different. You can load the back a lot, like you can. You're almost, both hinging, but that's that's about as close as you get. Right, right. So there's so obviously there's a lot of muscles that are involved, but they're definitely different. They um, are, and and they're even if even exercises like I did just mentioned, uh, incline barbell press and incline dumbbell press, the slight differences actually make a decent uh, difference in in your muscle development and strength and all that stuff because your body has to fire differently. It has to stabilize differently. Even when the exercise, I mean, I could go from a a, a closer grip incline to a wider grip, and literally the difference could be four inches, three inches, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a very, it's going to be a different feeling exercise. I'll give you an example, and people will get this because you only really understand this when you've been working out a long time. So I'll use something else uh, uh, as an example. So we all walk all the time, right? So you're used to walking. You know what that feels like? Uh, put on high heels. You're still walking, especially if you're a man. You've never done this before. <laughs> You, if you walk in heels, seen those videos. Yeah. Those are fun. Now, now it's, you're still walking. Interesting that he picks this analogy. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's was, like, was, trust me, the first time I did this, I mean, God, so really, have you ever done this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's totally. No. If you throw a dress on, that's why with my it calves too, are tight. Yeah. But if, but put them. On, you know, if you wear a shoe with a high heel on it uh, and walk, you'll notice it, same walking. You're still taking strides. Whatever. Slight difference. You're talking about inches. And it's going to be totally different in the way it feels on your body. Mm -hmm. Romanian deadlifts and good mornings, yes, they're hip hinging. Yes, the prime movers are the same. Totally different feel. Good morning, you're stabilizing the upper back. It's 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 uh, it's loaded a little lower on your upper back than like a squat. You have to maintain. You have to really maintain uh, strong upper back posture as you do this. You could load it more. Yeah. A Romanian deadlift. You have to hold on to the weight with Romanian deadlift. You have a little bit more activation of the mid back because you're holding on with your hands different bar path they both feel uh totally different both valuable for you know different uh, yeah. aspects and mm -hmm. that's the thing is like you 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 want to bank those types of exercises that are similar but provide you know a different stimulus so that way uh you know you're not constantly always doing the same thing and that way you can kind of stay ahead of that plateau and like we always talk about whichever one that you gravitate most to you know and in introduce the other one mm -hmm. you know so if you're somebody who loves good mornings but you're like oh i do good mornings there's no sense for me to do remaining deadlifts actually you should right and you know Vice versa, if you are somebody who always does Romanian deadlifts and you don't hardly ever do good mornings, and introduce good mornings. Right. Both have their, their own value. Now, that being said, um, I don't think for most people it's a good idea to do both in the same workout. Um, no, that's... It's, a, that's no. It might they're, be, they're close enough for that, Yeah, right? it might be overkill, right? right. Um, and especially because of your, you need to be really... Either Romanian deadlift or good morning, you have to have really, really yeah. good... They need real concentrated uh, uh, attention. Yeah, you have to have good, incredibly good low back uh, stability. If you start to break form, especially if you're loaded heavy, these exercises can be pretty nasty on the low back. Now, if your I, form is good, you're safe. I also think too, like we you loading like good mornings I can do way more than oh, a yeah. Romanian deadlift. Oh yeah. A Romanian deadlift where you're keeping tension on it the entire time and you're having to hold on to that. Even with wrist straps, you know, you're holding on to two hundred or so pounds. But you know, I could I could put good mornings on there. I can go three hundred pounds and mm -hmm. do a good morning. So these they're definitely different with loading too.